Do you know this is the ESP32 with the latest Wi-Fi 6, Zigbee, Thread, Bluetooth 5 and BLE support? This is an ESP32 C6 development board from Expressive. I will walk you through its key features, how to set it up and finally we will create a simple example project to see this in action. Here is the best part. You can get this board for free by participating in the IoT and AI project design challenge, a free online hardware project competition. To participate, simply submit your idea and get the development board for free. Using this board, you can build your amazing project and submit it to get a chance to win prizes worth rupees 6 lakh and cool goodies. All this is possible thanks to our sponsor Digikey. Digikey is recognized as the global leader and continuous innovator in the cutting edge commerce distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. Digikey is providing more than 15.9 million components from over 3,000 quality named brand manufacturers with the industry leading breadth and depth of products in stock and available for immediate shipment. Digikey also supports engineers, designers, builders and procurement professionals with a wealth of digital solutions, frictionless interactions and tools to make their job more efficient. You will see many versions of ESP32 module in the market, but there is something special about ESP32 C6. Only this ESP32 supports Wi-Fi 6, not only that, but it also supports Zigbee and Thread. Zigbee has been around since 2003 in the industry. It is a low-power wireless communication protocol. Zigbee devices form a mesh network where each device can act as a repeater to extend the range. It is indeed widely used in IoT and smart home devices. However, it does not use IP addressing. It relies on its own application layer protocol. Thread is also low power mesh networking protocol, but unlike Zigbee, it is IP based. The Thread protocol is specifically designed for IoT and smart home devices. Now, let's take a look at both features. The brain of this board is a 32-bit RISC-V processor running at 160 MHz. This powerful processor will handle wireless communication and edge computing tasks easily. For memory, we have 320 KB of ROM, 512 KB of high-power SRAM and 16 KB of low-power SRAM. With Bluetooth 5.3, we can achieve communication speeds up to 2 Mbps. We have got rich set of peripherals which includes all the important communication protocols like SPI, UART, I2C, USB, CAN, etc. Not only that but peripherals like I2S, RMT which is remote control transceiver, pulse counter etc are also there. In case you are wondering this module has a temperature rating of negative 40 degrees Celsius to positive 80 degrees Celsius making it compatible with most of the industry standards. Now let us see what actually board looks like. As we can observe the board has 32 male header pins, 16 on each side. Also it is breadboard compatible. So no need to worry about messy wiring or alignment. This is the actual module. It has ESP32 chip, flash memory, onboard antenna and all the important components. Just below it there is jumper J5. It is for measuring the current consumption by the module. We can connect the ammeter in series. Commonly available ESP32 board in the market does not provide any option to measure the current consumption. Thus, this jumper is very important. We have got an onboard RGB LED. This will be very useful for debugging and general purpose. We also have an onboard power LED. This turns on when we power the board. This button near the RGB LED is the reset button. Pressing this button restarts the microcontroller. This another button is the boot button. This is also known as firmware download button. Holding down boot button and then pressing reset initiates the firmware download mode. We can see two type C connectors on the board. As we have seen in the peripheral section, ESP32 C6 is capable of USB communication. So the USB port near the boot button is primarily used for USB communication supporting speeds up to 12 mbps 
The USB port near reset button is used for uploading the program and also viewing the output on the serial monitor. Both of the USB-C ports can be used for other purposes like powering the board. ESP32C6 is always a better choice for IoT projects in the areas of industrial automation, smart home, smart agriculture, age AI, etc. Now, let us set it up and upload our first sketch. For uploading the sketch, we have got two options, Arduino ID and Expressive IDF. Since many people are familiar with Arduino ID and Expressive also has official support for Arduino ID, we will go ahead with Arduino ID. Step 1. Installing the Arduino ID. Visit the Arduino.cc website. Now click on the products in the middle section at the top. Now if we scroll down, we will see an option for Arduino ID. Click it. We can see the list of options available here. The top three options are for Windows user. If you have Windows 10 or newer version, click on the first option. If you have fear of viruses getting into the PC, click on the option 2, the MSI installer. This will take you to the Microsoft Store for installation. And if you are facing any issues with the installation or you have the older PC, you can scroll down to download the legacy version of the ID. For Mac users, if your Mac has the latest M-series chips M1, M2, M3 or M4, select the Apple Silicon option. For older Mac, there is another option of Intel chips. After downloading, open the file and after that follow the installation steps. Once you are done, let us move to the step 2. Step 2. Installing the board. First, copy the board URL given in the description of the video. Now, open the Arduino IDE on the top left. Click on the Arduino IDE. Settings. For Windows user, click on the file and then settings. Now scroll at the bottom. You will see a tab named Additional Board Manager URLs. Here, paste the copied URL link and press OK. Now, click on the icon of board. Search for ESP32. You will see few options. Remember to install ESP32 by Expressive Systems. I have already installed the board. Installation might take some time. Wait and once it is installed, we are all set. I have already prepared an example sketch. You can find a link for it in the description below. This sketch controls the onboard RGB LED of ESP32C6. The RGB LED is controlled using the locally hosted website on ESP32C6. Let us test it. You can select the proper board and board from here. I will click it. Now ESP32C6 is not connected. We can see bunch of other serial ports here. I will connect the board. We can see option USB serial 1140. This is added after I connected the board. Now if we connected the ESP32 for the first time, it will not select the proper board. So in order to select the proper board, at the bottom, click on the select proper board and board option. Search for ESP32C6 dev module. Select it. Now for ports, we know USB serial 1140 is the correct port. Select it. Click on OK. Before you upload the sketch, enter SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. This is mine. Now to upload the sketch, I will click on upload button. The sketch has been compiled and successfully uploaded to the board. Now at the upper right corner, click on this icon to open the serial monitor. Make sure your baud rate is set to 115200. For the first time, you might need to press the reset button on the ESP32C6, this one. 
After pressing it, we can see log on the serial monitor. It has connected to Wi-Fi and provided address for accessing hosted web server. Copy it. Open your web browser and paste the address. Make sure you are also connected to the same Wi-Fi which was entered in the sketch. On this website, we can vary values of RGB and observe which color will be generated with respect to the values. When I press send color button, ESP32C6 will change its RGB LED to that color. So let's try it out. First I will send all green color. Now let us send pink color by increasing the red and blue values to its max. Now I will randomly select the RGB values. As we can see, the LED is successfully changing colors as expected. In this way, we can use ESP32C6 to build the IoT applications, whether it is smart home automation, wireless sensor networks or wearable devices. With built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it's ideal for projects that need wireless communication, low power consumption and real-time control. If you're planning to build your next project, you should definitely consider ESP32C6. Let's see how to buy this broad from Digikey. Let us first sign in to a Digikey account. If you don't have an account, you can register. For that, visit digikey.in, click on login or register, and register. Step 1. Let us select for whom this account is for, personal or business. In our case, it's personal. We need to enter basic details like name, phone number, email and then set the password. Step 2. You can select the currency of your choice. For now, we will select the INR as currency. Here we will fill the address in detail. Step 3. Verify the OTP sent on email. And just like that, you are ready to log in. After logging in, enter the board name in the search bar to find the board in the results. Or alternately, you can also access the board link directly from the contest page. Here we can see all the important information like manufacturer, data sheet, description, etc. On the upper right side, we can see the available stocks for the product. Enter the quantity here. For now, we will only need one board. We can see the calculated cost. Now let us click add to cart button. We can continue shopping for other products or view the cart to check out. Let us view the cart. If you are ordering from India, I recommend choosing the checkout with local logistic partner option. This gives you easy payment methods like UPI and net banking. Plus, you won't need to deal with the customs paperwork. No need to upload ID or address proof. The local partner handles everything so it's super convenient and hassle free. Now click on check out with logistics partner. Here you can see the price you will be paying. After confirming, click on the proceed to check out button. Here we will confirm our shipping and billing address. Now, on this page, it might show a warning saying enter your GST number. For that, click on the edit button next to the address. And in the section where it is asking, do you have GST number? If yes, then enter it. Or if you don't have it, click on no. Click on the update button. Click on the next tab. Select the application. For me, it's consumer electronics and others. Click on the proceed button. 
Now finally, we are shown with the total amount to be paid. After confirming, click on the click here to pay button. We can see available local payment options here. Click on continue and pay. Once the payment is successful, the order will get placed. You can download the order copy by clicking here. Now you will receive mail confirming your order. To track your order, visit checkout.actronics.com and enter your email ID. Considering ESP32C6 has a Wi-Fi 6, Zigbee, Thread, Bluetooth 5, this board offers the best value. Also, the development environment and community support for ESP32 is very strong. So it becomes the best choice for the IoT and wireless projects. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to participate in the contest. All the details and links are in the description below. Please check it out.